In this Let's Play live stream at Mahjong time, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League rules. If you are new to this version, there are links in the video description below to a lesson playlist. Also, if you want to try playing at Mahjong time, look for my email in the video description below. I do have some 30-day VIP codes. I can send you one so you can try it out. It really is the best place to play online, in my humble opinion. If you don't see the word live at the top of the screen, you're watching the repost. I hope you enjoy the session, which will be filled with chit chat with the live viewing audience. So if you prefer commentary only with gameplay, look for videos with the title Strategy Theory. Let's go live. We're almost there, and we're live. We've got lots of players at the table tonight, so hopefully we'll get in some good games, win or lose. Welcome, Debbie, from Indiana. Wow. Is that central? Central time? Hi, Marnie. Welcome to the live stream. It's Mahjong time. It is. And we're playing at Mahjong time. Oh, Eastern. Oh, Indiana is Eastern. Awesome. We're in the same time zone. I'm in Georgia. Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be playing American Mahjong tonight. Hi, Perry. All the way from Mexico. Wow. Hi, Anak. Good to see you here. Thanks for coming. Hi, Trish. Welcome to the live stream. Welcome to the live stream. Hi, Laura. Welcome. Hi, Sharon. Welcome to the live stream. Who uh, in the room uses Facebook and is part of the Mahjong That's It Facebook group? There's an interesting development that may or may not make a difference. I don't know yet. Hi, Long Island. We have Deborah from Long Island, and then we have Long Island with us. That's her avatar name. Hi, Patricia. Welcome. Oh, okay. Did did everybody see that post this afternoon about the FAQ page changing on the National Mahjong League website? The slapjack rule is no longer there. They replaced it with a new rule. If you call a player's hand dead and they are not dead you owe 50 cents or 50 points if a player calls your hand dead and they are incorrect they pay you 50 points or 50 cents that's a new rule it used to be i believe it used to be either the value of the hand or the lowest the lowest score on the hand i don't recall Okay, so let's see. Let me catch up on, on chat here. Okay, um, Trish says that she's a stalker on Facebook. You lurk. Okay, let's see, Laura saw it. Technically it should be two cents, but the name is taken. Oh, that's what you want your, your, long, your name, your avatar name to be, two cents? All right, let's see. So, Deborah, I I went to the somebody asked a question on the Facebook group, Mahjong That's It Face Mahjong That's It Facebook group, which is the biggest Facebook group for American Mahjong. Really, it's for any version of Mahjong, but primarily 
the members are American Mahjong players. So if you like using social media, or if you just even want to lurk, you can join that, that particular Facebook group because there's all kinds of great discussions about rules and Mahjong sets and um, etiquette, um, you know, sportsmanship, tournament play, all kinds of things. Anything Mahjong related is on that site. So if you join that, you can learn a lot. And it, it's quite entertaining sometimes. And I must say, sometimes it can get a little toxic. But I think that's true with any social media site. So take it with a grain of salt and just breeze through, scroll through things that, you know, are toxic or you're not interested in. And refrain from getting involved if it gets toxic, trust me. Moving on. So, I was trying to look at, or I wanted to post the URL for the FAQ page on the National Mahjong League on the post that someone asked about, oh, it was about the a hand, about the, the uh, consecutive run hand number one, two, three, four, five. Consecutive run hand number five. They forgot to put any two consecutive numbers in the description of the hand. So they were asking about that, and I, I was posting that anytime you want a clarification on a, on a hand where they forgot to make, make a comment in the parenthetical, you can go to their FAQ page. So when I was there, I noticed that they changed the FAQ page. There are a bunch of hand confirmations and a new rule there, and they removed the slapjack rule. There's actually two. When there's a simultaneous call, but one player puts up an exposure before next in line, whoever puts the exposure up first gets the tile. And this rule is very controversial. So they removed it from that FAQ page. We don't know what that means yet, because it's still written in the Mahjong Made Easy booklet and so they may not be revoking that rule. It may still be in place. We'll have to wait and see for when that bulletin comes out in, two, in January 2020. So we'll see. Let me catch up on chat. Okay, let's see here. Okay, Susan says that she's really improved her game by watching the videos. You're welcome and thank you. Okay, hi from Virginia. Lurker sounds better than stalker. <laughs> Lurker is a term and it's not to be taken as a negative. It's just if you lurk, you just kind of read. You don't get involved and that's just fine. Let's see, there are some who declare, Sharon says there are some who declare others dead just to help themselves. It may have gotten out of hand. Maybe this will stop that. Oh yeah, because 50 points or 50 cents, that's a hefty penalty if you're incorrect. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> it's cold in Long Island. Yeah, it's cold in Georgia too. We're getting frost in the mornings. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mahjong, that's it. Facebook group, that's the one I'm referring to on Facebook. It's the biggest Facebook group for Mahjong enthusiasts. They have right now 24,270 members. So if you want to stay up to speed on community information, questions, FAQs, strategy, etiquette, tournament play, events, etc., that's where you want to be. And that is run by Johnny Levine. And Jan, uh, uh, Jan, let's see here. She's the moderator there, and they both do a an amazing job. It's a huge job for two people. Huge job. I'm sorry, I forgot Jan's last name. Is it Ulrich or something like that? Jan, I'm so sorry, Jan. I see your name on there all the time because I'm on there several times a day. I'm just having a brain freeze at the moment. It's been a very long day. I've been filming a lot of videos. 
So I'm kind of wasted at the moment, seriously. All right, so if somebody knows Jan's last name, please help me out. I'm trying to find it in here. Oh, Jan Eric. Er, oh, now I just saw it and I, and I scrolled past it. I just saw it. Darn it. All right. Okay, let's see. Jan Egri, Eg Egri, how do you pronounce that, I wonder? All right, we'll just move on. Okay, thank you so much for helping me, Judy. Jan, Jan, E-G-R-I, I don't know how you pronounce that, but she and Johnny do a fabulous job running that huge group. It is a wonderful service to the community. Let's see here. I'm just catching up because this is pretty controversial, so I won't mind spending time on this, this uh, particular topic. Let's see here. Somebody, oh, Amy says she's trying to figure out Hong Kong Mahjong. Thought she'd watch about National Mahjong League. Oh, that's great. It's a little bit of a different game. It's more about, it's more about multiples than it is. There are no chows, no three in a sequence. Although there are some hands that have consecutive runs and even a chow, but they don't call it a chow. It's really more about Hong Kong Quint. There are pairs and some singles, but primarily it's about big multiples. And you have to match combinations on a card. There are about 50 combinations on every annual card. And so you have to match your tiles to it. It's more like a puzzle, I think. And it's very challenging. Uh, let's see. So Jackie Sutherland is here. Welcome. Let's see. And Terry joined us. Welcome, Terry. Cassandra, welcome from Hoboken. All right. Hi, Carol. Welcome to the live stream. All right. I think Johan from uh, California, or no, Mexico. Welcome. Someone, or Perry said that you had a long discussion about consecutive run number five when the new card came out. You thought it didn't make sense because it would have removed so many possibilities from the game. Yes, any consecutive run hand is going to be starting at any number except the very first one. The very first one is going to be 1 through 5 or 5 through 9, but all the others you can start at any number as long as it ends at 9. Whether or not they put that in the parenthetical doesn't matter. That's just the way it is. And invariably, they forget to put in some kind of a clarification in the parenthetical every year and they make confirmations on their faq page so when the new card comes out maybe a month later they'll post an update based on questions comments complaints etc after the new card's been released it takes them a little while uh, to get through the delivery process for all the purchase cards and then they'll update their website maybe a month or two later with all the faqs so I, from now on, am going to check the, their website, the FAQ website, on Sundays. And I am going to screen print and document changes because I find it interesting how these rules are still being kind of modified and the game's been in existence since, what, 1934, 36, 37, something like that. Was it 32? I think the game was in existence before the actual official card was released. So in the 30s. So anyhow, you just got to stay on top of these rules because if somebody in your group doesn't really share about it or doesn't think about it, it's good to stay up on the rules for the game because they could change mid-year. You got to go to that FAQ page. And the case in point is today when I went there, there it was, a new rule. And nobody knew about it. Um, let's see. There seems to be a mistake each year on the card. Yes, there are several mistakes. Uh, thank you, Vicki. I hope we have good hands too. Let's see. Sharon says, I don't understand why there would be mistakes or missing information on the card. They have a year to proofread it. <laughs> well, what they do is they work on the hands, I believe, from August to November or something like that. And then 
they solidify the hands for the next year, I believe in November, and then it goes into production for release in April. So really the time frame for working on the hands is relatively short. It's not the whole year. And once they, so if they, if they solidify the hands for the next year in November, and then they have to get their proof to the printers in time for them to do mass production, there's not a lot of time. And if they make a mistake, they're not gonna reprint. So they have a, a short time frame. I think it would probably suit them well to hire out their editing, and maybe not edit it themselves, but hire a professional editor to catch mistakes. The challenge is that if the, play, if the editor doesn't know how to play Mahjong, they may not catch a mistake like that. So their editor needs to be somebody who knows the game and knows the rules well. So anyway, I don't know. We're human, we make mistakes. So I don't know if the card will ever come out perfect. Let's see, they have a, maybe they should have a contest for designing hands. They are open to recommendations. I don't know if they have really published actual recommendations, but they say they're open to them. You just have to send them in a letter with your recommendation. And I did, I sent them, um, a recommendation a couple times in this year included I sent them a recommendation for 13 orphans and I would love to see that in the singles and pairs hand or singles and pairs category uh, let's see let's see um, okay so anyway interesting turn of events today we'll see what happens and the the um, First to expose to get the tile or, or get the mahjong. That rule, those rules may still be in place. So just, it's business as normal. Game as normal, play as normal, rules as normal. Whatever your group does, just play as normal until that bulletin comes out and then we'll know. Okay, 13 Orphans is a hand that is in almost every Asian version. Also, it's in Wright-Patterson mahjong. It's called Angels in Wright-Patterson. It's a one and a nine in each suit, one of each wind and dragon, and any tile paired. It's very difficult and a lot of fun to play. It's a beautiful hand. All right, let's join a table. We're gonna go into Auto Pass. Let's play. Okay, here we go. Whoa, oh my goodness. I hardly even gotta see my tiles. Okay, I think we should play 369. We have a multiple with sixes. Let's keep the West in case. Oh, let's give up that, that red dragon though, because I do not want to pass two eights and I want to keep that nine dot. Hi, Marsha. Welcome to this live stream. Good to have you here. I made it into this first pass. Sometimes if, if the game fast forwards on you like that, it'll throw your first pass out without you being ready. And it could be a really risky pass too. So in this case, I got it in on time. How's my sound? I'm still getting used to the mic being far away from me. And uh, sometimes I get a little loud. So let me know how it sounds. Okay, Long Island says good. Aw, Reva. Well, I consider you all friends too. So we didn't get any east-west. I'm gonna give up on west. I was thinking east and west with sixes, but we only have one west. Let's keep three, three, six, nine. I could have gotten rid of that eight. Okay, easy to understand. Okay, good. Cassandra, welcome. And you can see good. Yep, this webcam is great. It's a great webcam. So we've got a multiple with fours now. I wonder if we could maybe switch to 2468, but that four crack is not in the right place. If you think about the six BMs, I think 369 is best. And I try not to pass white dragons. We'll see. We'll see how these tiles come in. I may have to pass it. 
Okay, let's see. Oh, Janice says they, I, she hopes I had a happy birthday. I sure did. I had a great birthday. Oh, look, we got a six, six dot, three, six, nine, looking good. We're gonna keep going with the Charleston. Two, seven, four for passing. It's a little risky with a two, four together in cracks. Maybe what we should do is give up on that white dragon. Actually, let's keep it because we could maybe switch to like numbers with sixes. Let's risk passing 247. Judy says she'd like to discuss the problems on Mahjong Time declaring someone dead. I have reported the games where this has occurred and they have given game credits. But, okay, well, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Here's a 3-6. So we have 3-6-6-9. 369 in one suit. We could play maybe the concealed hand. We could play the fourth hand down. We could play the second hand down. So let's give up on like numbers. We could do 3669 in two suits. So let's keep the six dot. Hi, Joyce Lynn. Welcome. Okay, no keepers here. We will pass these on. I'm thinking three, six, nine, maybe the third hand, fourth hand down. Three, six, nine, Kongs, one suit. If we pair up the six dot, nine dot, maybe we could play the second hand down. No keepers. Okay, they want two, that's fine. We'll give them, we'll give them a south and a four. Hi, Mary. Welcome to the live stream. We're playing 369 right now. This is the first game, so you haven't missed much. We have four, well, really, we have oh six God. discards. Oh, oh, Joker bait. Okay, we're going to keep that. Let's discard this white dragon right away. White Hi, dragon. Diane. Welcome. Uh, east, okay. Three dots. She says she was east on Mahjong time and got Mahjong Four when the Charleston dozens. was completed. Is there a name Four for that? Characters. We'll pass. That's called a heavenly hand. I don't know if you get special score oh, on Mahjong time for a heavenly hand. I'll have to ask Slava about Six that. Characters. Hi, Taylor. Welcome to this live stream. South wind. Oh, wait. Let's see. You were ready. Let's see. Eight dots. Wow, look at we got a pung now of sevens. Let's just card four. Four characters. six seven. If we can get a five crack or an eight crack, Sounds we could switch weird. to consecutive run six third five. hand down. Okay, we're not gonna take that. I think we should go ahead and give up on that second hand. Let's keep those sevens. Two characters. Maybe if we get a seven bam, we could even switch oh. to the second hand from the bottom under bonus. consecutive run. Let's keep the Eight sevens. Characters. There's a five crack. Okay, let's get rid of nine dot. I'm kind of thinking, dots. let's see here, three, six, nine, fourth hand One down, dot. or five, six, seven, Green mixed dragon. suit Kongs, third hand down under consecutive run. Hmm. So let's see, east on Mahjong time, you got Morning. Mahjong, oh, nine dot, darn it. You got Mahjong nine when the dots. Charleston was completed. That's it. So you didn't even discard, Diane? That's called Seven a heavenly hand. Characters. Okay, we're, we're going to pass on that. Nine bamboos. No, we'll pass. I'm kind of thinking we should play five, Morning. six, seven. Mix suit One Kongs bamboo. and use the three BAMs as Joker Bay. Three characters. Hi, Ron. Welcome to the live stream, and you are very welcome. Two dots. It's my pleasure to do these videos. North Wind. Okay, four BAM is out. Four bamboos. Seven crack will be a good discard. Nobody wanted it. Six dots. No, we don't need six dot. That's the second one out. I think that. Second hand from the bottom under Eight consecutive characters. run is going to be a risky decision. Green Dragon. I am thinking that we're between Green. third hand down on the right under consecutive Mahjong. run. Oh, wow. That was a really quick win. 
east and west with twos, and I probably gave them that single west, but, you know, you never know. And, oh, I tossed it, too. Oh, oops. All right, well, let's play again. Let's see. It's discouraging when you know that dead player should not be playing, taking tiles, so no one else has had a problem with that. Let's see, Judy said something about, uh, would like to discuss the problems on Mahjong time where someone, let's see, this is curtain, they have not given game. I don't understand, Judy, with the Mahjong time calling a player player's hand dead. You, you get 25 points, the lowest value of the card, I believe. And I think that is the rule. If we have time, I'll look it up. I have the book right here in front of me, but I don't have time to look it up at the moment. But hopefully we can look it up in between games, maybe. Okay, new game, and we have no multiples. So this is where you do a process of elimination and build around the predominant pattern. We have lots of wins and dragons. I'm thinking maybe a year hand. We do have a white dragon. We have a one, three, five, two. So let's focus on a year hand, I think. Let's pass one of each suit, five, six, seven, and keep one, two, three year tiles. I think a year hand might work here. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens tonight. Maybe we'll have an opportunity to test the invalid hand situation. If you're just joining the live stream, welcome. We're playing American Mahjong at Mahjong time. Right now we're focused on maybe a year hand. Not sure yet which one. We're just gonna gather. We have a multiple now with the three. Let's give up the seven. We have a one, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, mix suit Kongs maybe. Or we could play maybe a one, three, five. Let's see. Let's give up a one and the green dragon. Let's keep news. Maybe we can make something work with news. There's north. So we have a four. There's a three, four consecutive run potential. And here now we have a pair of norths. So pair north. I'm kind of, ugh, let's see. We have tiles to pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand. Hi, Beverly. She says, thank you for your videos. You're welcome. And welcome to the game. You say you're a beginner, so welcome. How long have you been playing? Okay, here we have a five, three, four, five, hmm, one, three, five. It seems like one, three, five is coming in or three, four, let's switch things up. Let's give up on the year hand, and then let's keep the north, because maybe we could play a quint. Let's focus on one, three, five, let's see what we get. The year tiles were not coming, no nines. So let's give up on the year hand. So we're, there's some chat going on about calling a player's hand dead. You never call your own hand dead. It has to, be, it has to come from another player at the table. So if, if people aren't aware or they just choose not to, maybe they want the tiles in, their, in the player's hand whose hand is invalid or no longer valid, that may be a reason to try to keep their hand going. Maybe they have jokers, who knows. So there are reasons for not calling a player's hand dead, but if you know that a player's hand is no longer valid, then you call their hand dead or invalid, you'll have more picks to get to your hand. So here we have a one, three, and a one, and a five. This is not going very well. 
Okay, we have 135 potential. 135 with ones maybe. Let's give up on the quint idea. We have no jokers. We could almost play like numbers with ones at this point. Oh, look, we got a one. We got a five. We got a one. I'm thinking we could maybe play one, three, five, fifth hand down under odds. They want two tiles. Let's see, one, three, five, and ones. If we can get one dots, they want two tiles. One, three, five, one, three, three, five. Okay, we'll give two. Odd number five, that's what I'm thinking. We need one dots though, that's a gap. We have a gap. Uh, four, let's see. If, if a player's hand is de, let's hold this four because we could maybe switch to consecutive run with one through five. Anyway, if, if the exposures before the player is declared dead or invalid, those jokers are redeemable. Upon being declared invalid or dead, the jokers at that moment are not eligible for exchange. Beast win. Oh, quint number five. Quint number five. There is no quint number five. There's only four quints. Ones with a white dragon. Oh, ones with a white dragon. Okay, we can hold that white dragon and see. The challenge is we have no 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 jokers right now. But we have discards. Look at what we got though. One, two, three, four now. We have one, two, three, four consecutive run here. Two bamboos. Nine There's characters. a four crack out and a five crack out at the moment. Four characters. There's a joker. Five we got a joker now. I don't know if we're going to be able to use that. Five characters. Let's see. Well, that's the second five crack out now. I'm not going to take that. So if we play the quint with five ones in dragons. Four characters. That's the second four crack out now. We're going to pass. Red dragon. Okay, we have to make a choice now. Let's let's get rid of let's get rid of the five crack and the four crack. We could play 1 2 3 with the red dragon now. Two characters. Oh. We're not going to take that. In the quint for 1 2 3 dragon. We need a pair. Two dots. Seven characters. We could maybe play. There's a north now. Let's get rid of the four. They're all out. Four characters. This is not a very good start for the night. Oh. Uh, let's see. Oh, because be Beverly's been playing about a year. Haven't made much progress until you started Six watching the videos. Three. Well, I'm glad I helped make Nine it click. Characters. Sometimes you just have to hear the right advice at the right time for it North to Quinn. click. Which is one reason why it's good to be part of these Facebook Six groups dots. because everybody's sharing their thoughts and ideas, strategies, etc. On I keep saying etc. Sorry, Two I don't I don't like doing that. I don't know why I'm saying that. Okay, we have a, a flower, Ooh, two flowers nice. here. But if you are part of those Facebook groups, you can learn Ooh, a lot dragon. by what people are saying. Now, that quint red dragon is a pair. Nine bamboos. This is not going well. Hmm. We're going to have to make a choice here in a minute. Seven dots. Nine crack. I almost wonder if we could switch to a year hand. This nine crack though is not in the right place. Nine characters. We need more of a nine dot maybe to leverage these flowers. Oh, I maybe could have kept that actually. I maybe could have switched and used the joker for the nine dots, but 
There's a gap there. Nine dots. If we can get one dots, maybe we can switch to like numbers with ones. Nine dots. Now there's two nine dots. Oh. Shoot. No, two five dots are out. Five dots. Oh my goodness, this is not going very well. Nine bamboo. Let's see here what we can do. Maybe Nine we can bamboo. try the quint or play defense. Seven characters. Let's just see what we get pick by pick. Oh, another joker. All right, now, since there's two two cracks out, let's let that go. Two characters. So let's focus on the either like numbers with ones Eight and characters. flowers or the quint with ones two dots. and the white dragon. Let's just see what happens. Two characters. There's a five that's out. Five there are no characters. three cracks out yet. Maybe we can get a joker out of that. And then maybe we can... Mom. Okay, we're not going to take that. If we play like numbers with ones, we just need a pair. And those Circuit. might might be good joker bait, but nobody's taken these. Maybe they're not ready for the flowers yet. We'll hold them for a little while. There's the second red dragon out. Let's discard that. Red dragon. No white dragons are out yet. Five dots. Right now we can we can claim a one crack. Bamboo. I'm not too sure about this quint though. No ones are out right now, which may or may Two not be a, a good sign, actually, because somebody may be holding ones. Green dragon. Not a single one is out right now. Somebody's holding them besides me. Three bamboos. Chrysanthemum. Lots of flowers going out. One dot. There's the first one out. A one dot. Eight characters. Nobody wanted it. Maybe the ones are in the wall. One dot. There's the other one dot. So I'm Eight not sure characters. about like numbers with ones. I think we should commit to the quint Two dots. or play defense. Th three norths are out, so that's a good discard. North wind. The flowers, I think. South wind. Let's get rid of those next. We'll hold the three crack. For West just win. Let's get rid of the flowers first and then we'll get rid of the three cracks. Maybe we can get jokers out of the a joker out of that. Eight characters. So let's get rid of the flowers. Plum. Two, three, four, five flowers are out now. Eight dots. We're gonna try for that like number quint with a dragon. No white dragons are out right now. South wind. Three dots. We need more jokers. Or dragon. The white dragon specifically. White dragon, one crack. Let's get rid of that flower. Chrysanthemum. Okay, now we need to go ahead and get rid of these three cracks because we're in the end game now. I held those Six for a long characters. time. I'm hoping I'm not going to discard a winning tile here. Four we are in the end game and there are no three cracks out. So I went a little long on this joker Six bait. Dots. So hold your breath because I'm going to discard one. Maybe. Kong. If, nope, there's Kong. Okay, that joker is Red Dragon. not viable. One it's not exchangeable. Okay, we're going to have to quint that. Quint. We'll get rid of the three crack. Three characters. Nobody wanted it. Three bamboos. <clears throat> One character. Oh. Five characters. Ew, Long Three Island. <laughs> Gross. Okay, six bam. I'm going to get rid of that now. Let's see if someone takes six it. Six bamboos. Oh, nobody wanted it. Four dots. Oh my goodness. Three bamboos. <laughs> Long Island, are you a stand-up comedian? Dots. All right, let's get rid of, let's see, let's get rid of the six bam. This, all six these tiles are, are safe. We have, let's see, 
Well, we have five, uh, four more picks to go, and we have four discards and no jokers, and we're playing a quint. So I don't know if this hand is going to make it. Two bam, four, four dot. I want to hold that. That's a safe discard. That's safe. Let's get rid of two bam. I think two that's bamboo. the most risky. We're in the end game, so I want to think more defense at this Sound time. Win. One dot. East wind. Okay, there's another six bam. Let's get rid of the three crack. Three. Characters. Yeah, we're not going to make it. We only have uh, three, two more picks, four three more bamboo. picks, and we have four discards. So this hand Eight is not going to work. That's the risk you take when you have not so many jokers and weak multiples or anemic Two multiples. Bamboos. Oh, look it, we got a joker. Wow, Six that's kind of nice. If the one bam goes down, we could quit. We won't. We don't have enough picks though. We need three one white dot. dragons, and none are out. By the way, seven bamboos. There's a white dragon. Look at this. Nine bamboos. Wow, this kind of came up from behind here. South Let's see what happens. Well, no, we won't make. Oh my gosh, they got it. Like numbers with sevens. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's go again. I like like numbers. I think that's one of my favorite categories, like numbers. It's very flexible, and you can switch depending on how the picking goes. You can switch depending on your number to any category on the card. Ew. <laughs> Okay, Long Island, <laughs> you watched some dung beetles burying a dead mouse. Yuck. <laughs> you have some interesting n knowledge. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we'll see if we can get another game going here. Oh yeah, I was going to check about the value for declaring someone's hand dead. Let's see if we can find it before the next game starts. Okay, let's see here. Nope, game starting. All right, I'll have to look later. Here we go. No wins yet for tonight. Let's see if we can get a good one this time. No multiples. You get, Marnie says you get 25 points. That's what I thought. Okay, <clears throat> we have year tiles. We have six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go consecutive because we have not won yet. Consecutive is the most flexible category on the card. We have six tiles to work with. Since we have no white dragons, let's go ahead and focus on consecutive run. Let's see if we could win in the easiest category on the card. And it's easy because it's flexible. I mean, the hands are still challenging, but okay, then we get year tiles. Let's see. We could give up. Oh, look here. We've got potential for a pair hand. So let's see. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, eight, nine. Let's, oh, we've got to make a choice. Okay, let's go with one, two. Let's go with one, two consecutive run. Okay, I'm running running up the clock here. Let's do one of each suit. We're going to switch to ones and twos. I got a feeling. Let's see if I'm right. We'll keep the year tiles. Maybe my initial instinct was correct. So here we have a three, four dragon. So here's a one, two, three, four dragon. We have potential for a pair hand. One, two, dragon, second hand, un, uh, second from the bottom under consecutive run. Let's pass six, eight, nine. Okay, thank you, Judy. Oh, my goodness. All right, where are we? We have one, two, three, four. Let's hold one, two, three, four. 
We'll continue the Charleston. We're collecting one, two, three, four now. We did a switch, but it is the Charleston. It's a bit wacky. We'll see if we can recover some good tiles with the second Charleston. Oh, it's going back and forth. We got a four, but I don't think that's going to be helpful. We do have one, two, three, four, and one, two, four. Let's give up the dot. Oh, we could have done one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, four, four. Oh, look, we got a multiple. Here's a two, one, two, one, two dragon. Okay, let's give up. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Let's give up this four crack. One, two dragon, one, two dragon pair hand, maybe, maybe. Okay, now we have here a four and a six. All right, we're going to have to make a choice here. We do have some two, four, six, eight potential. Three tiles to pass. Two, three, four. Hmm. Two, three, four, three, four, one, two, one, two. Let's see. Two, three, four, six, eight. Uh, I'm only going to ask for two. Let's see. Let's just ask for two. Okay, Sharon is asking, why are some exposed tiles turned on the side? It's part of the programming for Mahjong Time. All the other versions of the game have tiles turned, which is the discard that, may, that is, was claimed for the exposure. So you know who discarded the tile. In American Mahjong, that's not standard practice. But in other versions of the game, Mahjong competition rules in Ricci, that's part of the game. And I'm not sure why it's part of Mahjong competition rules because there's no, there's no reason other than strategy to know who discarded what. But in Ricci, it matters because of some of the rules. Um, there's a rule Seven called wins. Furiton. We don't need to go into it because it's a bit complicated or complex, I should say. So Eight basically, it, it's, it, it forces you to play Six strategically wins. and your discards need to be very... Four characters. Uh, very... Nine bamboos. What word am I looking for? Um, you, need to, you need to be confident in your Seven discards. Dots. They need to be intentional because if you change your mind or switch your hand and you discard a tile that you later need, you cannot win by discard. So that's, in a nutshell, how Furiton works. And the turn tile, because it indicates who discarded it, None you will know wins. if I am not eligible for that particular None tile win. for a win by discard. Green Dragon. So we have one, two, three, four dragon. Six bamboos. One, two, one, two. None of our tiles are out Seven right bamboos. now. There's another four, four crack. Nine characters. We gave that up in the Charleston, though. I think we should let that go. Two so, characters. Sharon, I hope that helped. I, it's a little complex. If you want to know more about it, look Google Furiton. F U R I T E N. Nine Furiton. It's a Ricci rule. Seven characters. And I really do wish that the American Seven Mahjong thoughts. game were a little more strategic. I think if we had structured discards, like every player had their own discard pile so we know what they're discarding, Five and we thoughts. turned tiles in exposure so we know who discarded Eight what, characters. the game would be much more strategic. Eight characters. Let me know what you think about that right now. And since it's nine bamboos from the onset of the game when Eight it was developed, characters. we've always had random discards. So that would be a pretty, uh, really Eight major dots. change in the game if we went to nine structured characters. discards. So I don't know if that would ever happen. But I've been thinking about American Mahjong competition rules. And I think that 
if we were to ever create American Mahjong competition rules and kind of standardize for a national tournament play, then I think that more strategic concepts could be built into the game. Eight bamboos. I think it would really take American Mahjong up a notch. Okay, one, two. I'm thinking we should play the pair hand. We should not claim that. I'm thinking the one, two pair hand. Let's discard four crack. Let's see, we have all the twos. We could maybe play one, two, three with twos concealed. One, two, three with twos concealed. There's one, two, crack out, but we could use jokers. Three this would be the last hand under consecutive run. One character. We really don't have to make a choice yet. We have two discards here, the four bams we can get rid of. There's another one, one, two. Four bamboos. If you're just joining Seven the live bamboos. stream, welcome. We're playing American Mahjong at Mahjong time. And Five incidentally, times. if anybody wants to try out Mahjong Time, I do have 30-day VIP codes. Look for my email in the video description below. I can send you a code so you can try it out. We finally got a flower. Four bamboos. This pear hand is, is looking good at the moment. North wind. If we could only get... Okay, now the green dragon. There's two green dragons out. That's going Nine to characters. That's going to be something we have to really keep an eye on. Seven dots. Now we got a two dot. I'm thinking at this one point dot. we maybe should consider switching to one two or the two one two characters. three with twos in the middle. One two three Nine concealed. And give up on the pair hand at this point. Let's just wait. We'll see what we get. Six dots. There's another flower. That's not helpful. We really don't need it. Let's discard a flower. Orchid. I don't think we could do anything with all those flowers. I suppose we could have switched to one, two dragon, one but there are two green dragons out. Seven bamboos. Four bamboos. We've got a two bam now. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's give up on the pear hand. Red dragon. Okay, one, two. Now I wished, let's see, I wished I had kept that flower. Bamboo. Let's see, one, two, dragon. Oh. Let's pass. Because we could still play one, two, three with twos. And Easy we're going to need... A, either another red, another green dragon, or a joker, which we have none. Like numbers with twos, maybe we could do that, but Nine two dots. two cracks are out and we have no jokers. Oh, I just tossed into a win. Three six nine, three six nine. They have lots of jokers. Three, the the jokers are threes. All right, very nice. Oh my goodness, I'm taking a beating tonight. Oh, let's go to this one. That was rough. Oh, we need a win. All right, here we go. Cross your fingers. It's fun whether you win or lose. But it is nice to win, I have to admit. Okay, now we have East and Fours. Maybe we could play a Quint here. Let's keep consecutive. Now that's going to make for a really risky disc discard here. Let's give something up though. I don't want to pass. I don't want to pass all year tiles in one pass. Let's go ahead and pass these. All right, let's see. Thank you, Ellen. Fingers and toes crossed. Thank you. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll play a quint with no jokers. It's my signature move, you know. Eventually, of course, we'll need jokers, but... Ooh, this is interesting. 
we could maybe play east and west with fours. So east and west with dragons. Let's give up a six, a two, and let's give up the five. Okay, here we go. I'm thinking east and west with fours at the moment. We got an east. Maybe we could do that quint. We do have a pair of nines here now. Let's give up one, two, dragon. It's a little bit risky. The one, two, and one suit. We're playing a big hand maybe though. We've got all the Easts. If we can get all the Kongs, all we need to do are, it would be pick two Jokers in the wall. Okay, we got a four. East and West with fours. Let's keep it and give up the nines. Hi, Jingles. Welcome to the live stream. I'm glad you made it. So here we go. We're looking for a quint with east and four or east and west with fours. And that would be the fifth hand down under winds and dragons. I agree, Sharon. She says that Mahjong is a nice combination of skill and luck. Obviously, the luck is not with me uh, up to this point yet. Yet. So we're looking for east and west with fours or east and west with fours. Oh, we got the one, two dragon back. Let's pass these three. Let's pass these three. It's kind of one, six, one half dozen the other, really. Oh, thank you, Diana. So we want fours primarily. Another east, I think, would solidify that quint, though. No keeper. Let's wait and see how many they want. Okay, they want three. We could give three. Yes, what would you discard? And really, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. You can really make just about anything work with the right decisions at the right time. So somebody may see one thing in a dealt hand and someone might see something else and they could both be equally successful. Just depends on the decisions along the way. Sounds so we have lots of discards here. Really, we have one, two, three, four, five, six discards. Underdogs. We're an underdog in this race. Three characters. There's a joker. One character. We got a joker. Let's North see what wind. happens. Two bandages. We could play east and west with fours or quint. One bamboo. We'll get rid of that. One bamboo. Oh, because Marcia said if someone has two one soaps, bamboo. this Charleston could set them up for the big hand. Lots of one, uh, lots of year tiles. Look at all those year tiles. One bamboo. All right, none of these are working. I'm going to get rid of the six. Six bamboos. White dragon. If I'm not using four, five, six. I'm going to get rid of them early because those are in the middle of a sequence Eight and they're the bamboos. most useful in the most flexible category on the card. So if we get rid of them, we might be able to 
hinder Three somebody guns. in that category. It's a theory Six that I've bamboos. been testing. Four bamboos. Okay, we are not ready to take that. Red dragon. Okay, there's a five. Let's get rid of the five. Five bamboos. Three dots. Fives are all over this card. South wind. Fives are a big number on this card. Three dots. We got the four. Okay, I'm thinking Eight east and west characters. with fours at this point because we've got two pairs of fours. We have the flowers we need. All we need there is a west. None are out. We could, we could con one of these fours. We'll hold this east Eight for a little characters. while just to see. We could go back. East wind. Oh, we got to make a choice right now. Let's pass. Let's do east and west because Six we months. only have two flowers. If I had more flowers or more jokers, Three I might characters. push for the quint. But because we only have two flowers and we have two pairs of fours, I think east and west with fours is a better choice. Two bamboos. There's that five bam. Five bamboos. There's a hesitation there. I think somebody may be needing fives. Pung. There's a pung. And that five went out early. Now that dry, that joker is available. Three bam. I'm going to get rid of this three bam. Seven bamboos. We'll get rid of that three bam right now. Three bamboos. Who knows what they're playing. It's hard to tell. Nine characters. With one exposure, you really can't tell what they're playing unless you watch their discards. One character. We're still, let's see, we're, we're in the middle Six game here. Bamboos. Three crack, there are two out. Let's get rid of that. Three characters. There's one six dot out, one eight bam is Four out. Dot. Okay, we're going to Kong. Kong. Let's get rid of the East. East wind. Eight bamboos. So we need a Joker minimum for the four bam because there's already a four bam out. It would be Red nice dragon. to draw a, five, a four dot or a five bam. Seven bamboos. Seven crack. Eight bam. Two are out. Eight bamboos. There's one each of these tiles out. Six seven and seven. Characters. There's a hesitation on that seven. Maybe maybe they're playing five, seven, seven, nine. Eight dots. So I'm going to get rid of the seven. Kong. Six characters. There are two seven bams out. Nine bamboos. Mm. Two bamboos. Let's let's discard seven crack. Okay, seven let's see, Judy. Characters. What would you con the first four that comes out or wait? Oh, I did. I did take it. Six characters. I and I I would take it in this instance because Six if we don't characters. take it now, we're going to need it later with a joker. So I decided to take nine it. Nine bamboos. Okay, nine crack. Let's get rid of the north. North. Wind. We're still in the middle game. We have two more picks before nine the end bamboos. game. Four characters. Kong. Okay. Two, four, six, eight. eight they need characters. this six dot. I'm discarding it right now at, at my next turn. They're Three playing bamboos. two, four, six, eight, second hand down. West wind. So we're going to get rid six of that. Dots. They are not ready for it. Two characters. There's only one west out. We have two discards. Dots. I'm going to get rid of this flower right away. This North will be the first wind. one out. 
chrysanthemum. Hold your breath. Nobody wanted it. Whew. Whew. First flower One out. It's dog. always a little nerve wracking. One character. We have a good safe tile with the three. The nine, there's one out. Five characters. Nine dot, none are out. We got to get rid of that now. Nine dots. The player to my left. Come. There it is. They were the only ones without an Five exposure. Characters. And that's a pure, okay, we're going to get rid of this flower. Orchid. You do not want to hold on to flowers, risky tiles in the end game. Someone gonna put out nope, nobody nobody could take it. So Two that's the second flower out. Chrysanthemum. Pass. There are three nine bams out. North I wonder if they're playing a year hand. I'm gonna get rid of this flower again. Plum. Kong. Okay, Kong, flowers, two pair Nine there. Characters. Okay, I'm not going to make an exchange. We're not, I don't want to, I don't want to sacrifice my fl my flowers for a, a joker. Oh, that's, that. I'm tempted. Somebody else might take it. I'm tempted to take that flower. Oh, too late. I was tempted. We could take Bamboo. that other one, but then... Two, four, five. The, no, there are si there are six flowers out, so that would be really risky. Eight and this other player across from us maybe is using flowers, maybe. One dot. So I do not want to take that flower. I got to keep my pair. Four dots. Oh, they got it. Five characters. Okay, we need that. We needed a flower or a five bam. One character. We got the four bam. Let's throw, oh, let's throw two dot. Two dots. There are two white dragons out. I wonder if they're playing a year. Let's see, wait, no, they have a Kong of two four, dots. of nine dots. They, let's see, what are they playing? Four five flowers dots. with nines. Two dots. Three dot is out. Three dots. Oh, you know, no, they're not playing addition. What are they playing? Four flowers with nines. Seven bamboos. Oh, they're probably playing five, seven, nine in dots. Kong. Five, seven, nine in dots. Five, seven, seven, nine across five from us. Dots. We have a good safe discard here. Nine characters. Oh, we got the five. Look at that. Five bamboo. Okay, we're ready to win on a west. Three characters. Ready to win on a west, and we're the only ones who want the west. West win. There it is, Mahjong. We got one. Mahjong. Woohoo! Five, seven, nine in dots. Five, seven, seven, nine. They were battling each other a little bit. We got a win. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, thank you. We got it. First one for the night. <laughs> that was kind of hard fought. Oh my goodness. This game will really keep you on your toes. Thank you, Irene and Ellen. Thank you, everybody. Yes, thank you for having my back. Pew is right. All right, now that we got that out of the way, one win is good. Now, we have no multiples. This is kind of a jumbly mess. But we have fodder to work with. So, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. I think we should play odds. Let's get rid of evens and the north. Or maybe the dragons. Let's see. We have all the sevens, though. We could maybe... Let's give up this one dot because we could maybe play like numbers with sevens. Let's see what happens here. We got a six northeast. Hmm. 
We have a pair of Norse now. Six, seven, seven, five, seven. Hmm. Maybe we could play north, north and south with sevens, or news with sevens pair hand. Let's see. Let's give up one nine five, one one nine three, one three nine. Okay. Let's focus on either like numbers with sevens or news pair hand with sevens. We got a seven and west and south. Look at that. Okay, I think we should definitely go for a pair hand with news. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. We have news. News pair hand with sevens, first hand under singles and pairs. And we might play a news hand, all news, if the sevens don't come in. Plan big, have a plan B. East and west. Wow, look at that. We have only two discards. We're not gonna. We're not gonna keep going. We're gonna say no. No. We only have two discards, and we're playing a pair hand. They went three tiles. Let's give them two. So that was generous. Let's see if we can get a south and a seven. Seven bam, seven crack would be ideal. No, eights and nine. Eight, nine, that's okay, we have two discards. Three characters. We'll get rid of those. Nine characters. We could maybe switch to the concealed news hand, depending on how the picking goes, and if sevens go down. Usually, usually wins will go out early too, so we'll keep an eye on that. Eight characters. Two bamboos. Five bamboos. We're looking for news with sevens. Three bamboos. Four characters. Seven bamboos. Okay, that's one of our tiles. Five bamboos. We'll keep an eye on that. Seven bam. Nine characters. So the fallback hand is going to be either the first news hand under winds and dragons or the concealed hand. Eight characters. Depending on if these sevens go down. Three dots. East wind. Pass. Five dots. Nine bamboos. Three bamboos. Okay, Marsha, who would pass two tiles to the person Seven who holds wind. the Charleston? Maybe, maybe they... Nine bamboos. Well, they're a black belt. They know Seven how to play. Bamboos. Or they would not be a black belt. So maybe two they were willing to risk passing. I don't know. Nine characters. Threes are out. Three bamboos. If somebody stops the Charleston, I decline an optional cross. Nine so bamboos. I was surprised by that too. But not everybody agrees with that strategy. Five bamboos. Three dots. Now there are two seven bams out. Chrysanthemum. So we may need to switch to news concealed. And there's a south two out. Characters. So our tiles are going out at the moment. Six bamboos. Eight. Yep, characters. two sevens are down. Two seven bams. South wind. Two souths are down now. Two characters. We need a south or a seven bam badly. Plum. We got a north. Okay, so. At this bamboos. point, I would think about changing to the concealed hand Four under dots. winds and dragons. Because we can Three use jokers characters. for the winds. 
We'll see. Seven characters. We got a seven crack. Let's keep let's keep going. Or one away. If we can get a south or a seven bam, we'll be ready to win. We could maybe recover Two a flower dots. later. Maybe. Four or dots. switch to news the first hand. We need a Four seven dots. bam or a south. Three dots. And then we'll get rid of this north, maybe. Let's just keep an eye on it. Six bamboos. Two seven bams are out and two souths are out. Green dragon. South wind. Okay, so there goes the hand. Three All right, bamboos. now we got to recover now. North and south. Two dots. We can't do north and south with sevens because all the souths are out. So we have joker bait with sevens. One bamboo. We'll get rid of the sevens. It was a valiant effort. Eight bamboos. Threes are out. Three characters. So Three. I'm thinking... We need to Eight recover bamboos. flowers and play the concealed hand because we can use jokers for the winds as needed, especially the south. Six dots. Let's get rid of the seven. Seven bamboos. Seven characters. Pass. Nobody wanted it, so we'll get rid of that first. Two bamboos. Oh, am I playing another game? We'll one play one bamboo. more after this. And then I have to get to my husband's ironing. Red That's why we stop at 8.30, so I can hmm. iron. Does that sound like fun? It I actually is that. fun because we one. watch we watch uh, Fringe while I iron. One dot. He, he plays on his iPad while I iron, and we watch Fringe Eight together. Characters. It's kind of a tradition. Not fringe per se, but just Nine binge watch characters. some kind of a show together while I iron. Four characters. Oh, what? Long Island ironing Four does not sound characters. like fun? Oh, Nine it's kind of characters. a necessary evil. We try to live frugally, huh. so I don't send his shirts out for ironing. Eight dots. I do them myself. Two bamboos. <laughs> no Two ironing. Dots. Oh, you and uh, Judy says she enjoys ironing. Yeah, I don't mind it so much. Joker. It does save us money. Okay. <laughs> Four bamboos. He does know how to iron, but he Six puts the bamboos. iron. He he uses it backwards. <laughs> East wind. It's kind of funny. He um. He uses the straight edge of the ironing Two board. I, he doesn't iron anymore. I saw him do that one time. <laughs> and I said, that's not right. <laughs> You're supposed to use that little curved end for, you know, the shoulders and whatnot. And it Two was dots. funny. So I, I usually do the ironing. Oh, one Cheryl dot. says ironing is relaxing. Oh. Eight dots. Oh, look, we got a west. This north is going to have to go. Characters. It's a safe discard. We'll just keep it. Eight dots. Irene says ironing can be relaxing, just Two like doing characters. dishes by hand. Yeah, you know what? I was thinking about Nine that. It, my husband and I... Maja. Oh, somebody won. Oh, like numbers. That's a pretty hand. All right, we'll play one more game. And then i got to get to the ironing. But I was, uh, someone had mentioned about doing dishes by hand. With it just being my husband and I, my, my, my younger, youngest son does live with us still. Uh-oh. Where, what, what happened? Wait, what happened here? I, uh-oh. Am I, what in the world? Did I miss out? Hold on a second. Okay. My older, our youngest son, he is still at home with us, but he works a lot. So he's hardly ever home and he fends for himself. He buys his own groceries, does his own cooking, except we let him eat one meal of ours a week on the weekends. Otherwise he fends for himself. So for the most part, my husband and I are empty nesters and we just don't see our, you know, our son very often. So anyway, we're trying to get him ready to get out of the nest. 
So I just cook for my husband and I, and so I've been washing dishes by hand. Why run the dishwasher for two people? And you use a dish, you wash it, and set it to dry. It's not, it's not hard. Okay, uh, let's see. We have a pair of sixes. I'm thinking three, six, nine. Three, six, nine looks pretty good to me. We could maybe hold the east for east and west with sixes. We could hold the dragon for like numbers with sixes. So let's get rid of... Let's get rid of 172. It's a little risky with a year, two year tiles. Adult, adult lessons. Oh, I like that Long Island. Yes, he's an adult lessons. Cause he just turned, he turned 21 in January. So he's a very young 21 year old though. We got a three, we got a keeper, 369. So let's pass North four, five. All right. Three, six, nine. That's what we're playing here. We have no flowers, though. So I don't know at this point if I would play a hand with flowers at the moment. We'll see what comes in. This will be the last game for this live stream. I'm so glad y'all came to hang out with me and chit chat and play. Okay, here we have a pair of dragons now, look. Okay, let's keep sixes. Three, six, nine, hmm, three, six, six, nine. East, one, three, six, nine with dragons or like numbers with sixes. I'm kind of thinking we should maybe play like numbers with sixes. We got a six. Okay, we're going to we're going to keep going with the Charleston. Okay, uh, Judy's asking when is the table talk with Slava? It's on Tuesday night. Tuesday night, and we're going to talk about Mahjong time and what led Slava to create Mahjong time. I want to know. I want to know, because he's Russian. How did he come to know about Mahjong? It's kind of interesting. So that's one of the things I want to know. How did he come to know about Mahjong? I know that people in Europe play Mahjong, but how did he come to know about Mahjong? So it'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, thank you, Sharon. All right, look here. We've got we've got like numbers with sixes, I think, with these dragons. Let's go ahead and give up three five north and play like numbers with sixes. Like numbers with sixes right here. Concealed. It'd be nice to get some more sixes though. Six cracks. Oh, we got a white dragon. Very nice. And we have three tiles to pass. This is a nice pass too. Very, very defensive. Would have been better if that one of those were a even number though. So uh, the table talk, Joycelyn, will be on Facebook, but I will record it and upload it to YouTube. Uh, I will be recording it, Judy. I will be recording it. We did get 369 again, but I think like numbers with sixes is good, and I think I will risk passing this 36. Oh, they want two, so that's fine. Here we go. Okay, Long Island said, think it's a website. What are you referring to? We didn't get any keepers there. So we'll get rid of the year tiles first. Five bamboos. Oh, there's joker bait though. We'll keep that. Nine. So we'll hold on to these nines for as long as we can. Maybe we'll get a joker out of it. 
five bamboos. Three characters. Five characters. One crack can go. One character. Three bamboos. One bamboo. Uh, Jingles, is Slava going to be with me soon? Tuesday night, we're going to do a table talk live Three stream. Bamboos. We'll do a live stream together on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Five dots. Oh, Jen. Hi, Jen. She says that she came to know about Mahjong through a movie, A Walk on the Moon. Come. Interesting. I've never heard of that movie. Seven bamboos. Okay, Marsha says we have the pairs. That's the hardest part for like numbers. Yes, all we need are Seven jokers. Characters. Of course, we need to stay concealed, One so character. we're going to need to draw well, but we do have a little bit of West joker bait. Wind. It was a nice Charleston. Three discards. Eight bamboos. We got a joker. Five. Characters. Look at that. Okay. South wind. One, two, three, four. Four discards. We have Eight two discards dots. left. Seven characters. Oh, five. Darn. Five bamboos. So we need dragons and sixes, except not the red Eight dragon. Dots. Four dots. East wind. We got a keeper. Nine bamboos. Look at that. Five characters. Eight bamboos. Okay, we're one away from ready. Eight characters. Let's get rid of the nine. Nobody wanted it. Nine bamboos. Four dots. Oh, Two Mary said dots. that we didn't have many jokers tonight. It does make winning challenging for sure. Seven characters. Okay, we need one more tile to be ready Let's to win. See. We need a six Two dot dots. or a six crack or a joker. Eight dots. Six crack, six dot. That's what Sound we want. Win. Nine dots. North wind. One more tile. Seven characters. Red dragon. We got a red dragon. Two dots. We don't need it. Lots of wall left, yes. Five and uh, no sixes are out yet. Primarily because six they're all dot. in my hand. There's a six dot. We will pass, of course. Seven bamboos. Oh, five bam. Five bamboos. Uh oh. Seven bamboos. One more tile. We need one Nine more tile. Dots. Seven dots. Keeper. We need a keeper. A flower, no. Orchid. Hold your breath. Whew. East wind. No sixes are out. Well, Four one six dots. dot is out. One six dot is out. Three dots. Keeper, please. Keeper, keeper. No. North wind. Oh, it's painful sometimes when you need one tile to get three ready. Bamboos. Okay, we're still in the middle game. Eight bamboos. We have three more picks, two more picks. Six bamboos. Okay, we're good there. Oh. Oh. Three characters. I'm a bit on the edge of my seat. Two dots. One six dot is out. Sound wind. Eight characters. Two bam. Two bamboos. And you know, it's kind of hard when players don't expose tiles because there are no jokers to exchange. 
four dice. You can't go shopping for jokers. Eight characters. We got it. Look Green it. Dragon. We've got the six. We need a six dot or a six crack to win. North win. We're ready to win. Seven dots. Oh my goodness. Two characters. Oh. Nine dots. We're in the end game now. Six. <gasps> we got it. We got two wins tonight. Oh, whew. All right, that's very nice. It's a nice way to end the live stream. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming to hang out with me. I had a great time, as always. It's wonderful to chat. I know it's a social experience, so if you're not used to that with live streams, the Let's Play live streams, there's a lot of banter. So if that makes you uncomfortable, if you really just want to do the commentary with the gameplay, look for strategy theory because there's those are not live. Those are recorded. So I only talk about the game. There's no chit-chat, no socializing, no talking about ironing, traveling, TV shows. This is really more of a social hangout. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you came by earlier and left, maybe you're watching the repost. I hope you had a good time, and I hope that you do enjoy the repost if you're watching for the first time. And join us on Sunday nights for live streams. So the first Sunday of the month is American Mahjong. Second Sunday of the month is Hong Kong Mahjong. Third Sunday of the month is Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. Fourth Sunday is Richi Mahjong, Japanese Mahjong. Fifth Sunday is Mahjong competition rules. So every Sunday, we do a live stream, social live stream. Let's play is what it's called. Let's play live stream. So thank you so much for coming. I really do appreciate it. And I feel like I just have so many friends. You all are friends to me, even though we've never met in, you know, face to face. I actually have met some of you face to face and it's wonderful when that happens. So. It's really nice, though, to have you all here. I see a lot of repeat viewers, so thank you so much for coming. Oh, you're welcome, Long Island. It's really good to see you in the, in the room on these live streams. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Susan, Sharon. I don't know if I could name you all. We had over 100 watching tonight, which is amazing and wonderful. It was a great time. So with that, I'm going to sign off. I want to say thank you for all the channel members, people who have chosen to join as a channel member and help support my channel. I really do appreciate it. I've made some great upgrades this year um, towards the end of the year here. I got a new webcam and I'm, I'm also purchasing new software. So you'll see a new change in the format of the videos that I think will be helpful for many players. So. Um, any donations that you've made to my channel have really helped me to improve my offering to the community. So thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching my videos, for sharing about the videos, and for just commenting on the videos and coming to these live streams. I really do appreciate it. With that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click subscribe. And click that little gray bell. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. And you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next live stream, may all your picks be keepers.